Hinata was sitting in Tsukishima's room studying. Hey Tsukishima, can I ask you a question? No. Please. Fine. Go ahead. Would you confess to someone if you knew they didn't like you back? That question was asked two years ago. It was the start of Hinata and Tsuki. Things started out a bit rough but gradually turned into something more. The two not only grew closer to each other but also to the other first years. Along with Hinata's best friend from childhood and Kagiyama's girlfriend, they shared an unbreakable bond. The gang have all graduated and are starting their new lives. Yachi, Yams, Yuki, and Tsuki were all going off to different colleges. Kagiyama decided against college instead following his dreams to become a professional volleyball player. Hinata is on his way to Brazil to train in beach volleyball which he hopes will help realize his dream in also becoming a professional volleyball player. At the airport. I miss you already. I know. Me too. I'll call you as soon as I land okay. Okay. I love you, Sho. I love you too, K. They hugged and kissed. Hinata hugged his Moman's sister. They exchanged I love yous. He pulled the rest of his friends into a group hug. Try not to get lost, Bok. Hinata waved one last goodbye to them and boarded the plane. The next two years tested Tsuki and Hinata's relationship. Arguments about visits cancelled in favor of training or exams. Missed phone calls and tears shed from longing to be together. Those years also strengthened their relationship. Trust and understanding of the other's situation. Support and love no matter if they agreed or not. Efforts made to show their unwavering commitment. Now those two years are over and Hinata is coming home for good. At the airport. Tsuki watched as plane after plane landed. He was so excited to see Shoyo that he had gotten to the airport almost an hour early. Finally he saw him. Even though Tsuki was still getting used to the haircut, there was no mistaking that fluff of orange. Must he always be surrounded by people? Hinata waved goodbye to the people he was talking to. He turned and saw Tsuki. K. They chatted the whole car ride to Hinata's house. I can't wait to see mom and Natsu. Hinata opened the door. The house was quiet. He looked back at Tsuki. No one's here. Let's just go inside. Surprise. The living room erupted. Hinata was pulled into hug after hug. Not only were his family and friends there but also Tsuki's family. He hadn't expected them to be there but was happy to see them. The party had been going on for about an hour. It seemed like everyone he ever knew was there. Everyone except Kags. He was beginning to get nervous. He had asked Kags to do him a favor but it shouldn't be taking this long. What's wrong? Nothing. You're lying. I was just wondering if Kags was coming. I'm sure he'll be here. Hinata nodded. It was another 20 minutes before Kagiyama would get there. Finally. Sorry. There was traffic. You could have told me about the party. I know it wasn't part of the plan but isn't it better now? I guess but still. Don't worry everything will be fine. What happened? Nothing. Bokes worried he won't make the cut. Hinata wanted to punch Kags but at least he covered well enough. Show of course you're gonna make the team. Thanks. It was two hours into the party when Tsuki turned down the music. He called for everyone's attention. I would like to thank all of you for coming to welcome Shoyo home. Sho, can you come here please? Hinata looked at Kags. Kagiyama shrugged. Hinata took Tsuki's outstretched hand. Years ago you made me a promise. Do you remember what it was? Hinata thought back. The one about always staying by your side? No not that one. You promised that since you confessed and said I love you first that I got to propose first. K. Hinata Shoyo, will you marry me? Tsuki pulled out a box from his pocket. You're right K, I did promise to let you propose. Hinata looked at Kags again. However I didn't promise to say yes. Kagiyama walked toward them. Sho. Are you sure about this? Yes. Kags handed Shoyo a box. 
He turned to Tsuki. I'm trusting you to take care of him. That goes without saying. Now can you move? Kags. Fine but if he hurts you. I know. Kagiyama walked back to his place beside Amiko. You wanna tell me what's going on? I need to tell you something. Can't it wait? No. Fine. I love you Kay and I know what I promised. Hinata took a deep breath. Sho. I'm sorry but I can't say yes. What? Why? The crowd was shocked. They started murmuring amongst themselves. Quiet. The room was silent. Explain. I can't say yes until you do. What? Hinata got on one knee and opened the box. Tsukishima K, will you please be my husband? Suki was relieved and pissed at the same time. Don't ever scare me like that again. Well? Yes, you shrimp. I'll marry you. Hinata stood up and put the ring on Tsuki's finger. After Tsuki did the same, they kissed. It had taken a month to prepare everything but the day was finally here. Hinata and Tsuki stood in front of their friends and family ready to take that next step. I promise to hold your hand while we walk together and to put you before everything else. I promise to love you forever. I promise to make you smile and to buy you strawberry shortcake. I promise to love you forever. With a few more words, they exchanged rings and kissed. From unlikely lovers to happily ever after.